well. You know, I need to give Mr. Boyd, my old gym teacher, a call because we never got yeah. to dance in gym class. And I think that would have been a lot of fun. You would have loved that. Yeah, that would have been a blast. Instead, we were playing dodgeball or something. Not, I do like dodgeball, yeah. you know, but uh, yeah. yeah, switch it up sometime, Mr. Right? Boyd. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was telling Denny uh, a little while ago, we had Project Adventure in our gym that class. That's serious. It was terrible. Oh, no. They made us go on zip lines and they made us climb on these wooden these logs that were like it. ridiculously high in the air. And I was so scared of heights. And my gym teacher said he would fail me if I didn't do at least two of them. It just seems a little and I cried like the whole me. time. Oh, no. So you haven't done any of those like ropes courses again? You're not? Um, I'm now them? more into it. Okay. But when I was in middle school, I was terrified. I felt like it was kind of the safe bet to go with stuff that most kids could or would want to do. So mm -hmm. maybe that's yeah. where dodgeball came in. Dancing, I could see. I don't know. You never know. But hey, yeah, I wish we could dodge uh, everything in our yeah, weather pattern right. coming up these next several days. So it is cold out there. It is foggy out there. We've got an inversion in place, and it's getting a little bit worse. So we can thank that big H on the screen, this ridge of high pressure. You can see the jet stream lines, those blue ones, taking the storm track well <coughs> up and over the north of us. So really, uh, we are seeing no relief from what's coming at us these next couple of days. Uh, instead, we get sunshine above those lower elevations, but fog trapped down here in the lowest valleys. And for Southern California, this is all the same feature that's playing into the Santa Ana winds, uh, steering in some of the strongest winds the area has ever seen, uh, only worsening those fire conditions down there. Our low sun angle also has something to do with it. Not a lot of daylight out there. Some of the shortest days of the season upon us in December. Uh, that doesn't allow much time for the air to heat up the ground and circulate everything down here at the lowest valley. So when the cold air sinks, instead of having somewhere to go, it gets trapped below a layer of warm air. And that's that low cloud deck. And instead, we start talking about the fog and the haze. We have both out there this morning. An air quality uh, alert is in effect for parts of southeast Oregon and will continue to be something we monitor here, too, uh, in the Boise area. Live look outside I-84 and Vista gives you a hint at what you're looking at. And again, it depends very much so on where on the road you are. It's hit or miss fog. Uh, we are seeing some pockets of very dense fog though, especially out near the Boise Airport and you can see uh, kind of the bubble. So I would say Boise out into parts of eastern Elmore County uh, going to notice the most dense fog and so it's pockets of it, uh, but visibility is still not great out toward Nampa either and we've seen it down to about zero. So it's been minimal. So know that the visibility will probably be an issue for you at some point on your commute. This is kind of a widespread blanket of fog extending up into our northern mountains out over into Chalice and as far west as Baker City. So why Widespread fog, just one of those symptoms of the lovely inversion we're dealing with this time of the year. Air quality alert in effect for Southeast Oregon. Uh, this is just kind of shows the stagnant air is there. It's locked in place and it's probably not going anywhere until we get a pattern change, which unfortunately not in the cards anytime soon. We're going to watch to see if a dense fog advisory forms this morning. Sometimes those get issued when the visibility is down to a quarter of a mile or less in some areas, but just know uh, that you could run into some fog out there and that the air quality will continue to deteriorate as a result. Today, yellow air quality alert. So we're in the moderate category, so not doing too bad. Uh, Idaho City registering in the orange this morning, though, on the live monitor that we're able to track kind of the air quality with. So uh, do know that that will probably continue to be a factor. Temperatures are also going to get colder, and then we're going to stay with this inverted pattern into much of next week. You can see the mountains get warmer, we get colder. So suddenly it's if you need some sunshine or some uh, warmer air that will suddenly feel warmer than it actually is, uh, you got to head north to the mountains. So hopefully we'll still see some hazy sunshine out there today. Some of the lowest valleys could see that layer of fog sticking around a little bit longer or that low cloud deck starting to form. Uh, for us, I'm hoping for some hazy sunshine. High of 34, know that those wind chills that we're going to knock a few degrees off the temperatures. So I'd say plan for uh, mid to upper 20s, if not low 30s for most of the day today. So it is going to feel bitter cold and that again is another symptom of this week of this uh, strong or strengthening inversion. So uh, we're down to the low 30s for the rest of the seven day forecast. I think the conditions will continue to get a little bit worse. So you know when you can see the top of the bogus basin yesterday, uh, we'll just have to watch and see what your visibility is like uh, with the foothills today. That's kind of my favorite measuring stick just because okay. it shows you how how thick that cloud deck is. But from up above at bogus yesterday, you could tell the inversion was in place. All right, it's here and it's going to stay for